Hello YouTube, this is Dennis with yet another Code Wars kata of the day. Today I am doing the sum of pairs kata. Here's what they want me to do here. Given a list of integers and a single sum value, return the first two values parsing from the left in order of appearance that add up to form the sum. They give me some code samples here. They want an array of integers for the first parameter, and they want the expected sum for the second parameter. It says here that negative and duplicate numbers can and will appear, and there will also be very large arrays with lots of elements in it. Be sure my code doesn't time out. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna write my function here, sum of pairs, and I'll take our int array for the first argument and the expected sum for the second. I'm going to go ahead and uh, export this out for no testing. Okay, I'm going to run this through a for loop for let i equals 1 because I want to be sure that our previous members in the sliced array, I'll go get to that later, i is less than int length plus plus i. First I want to slice our array starting from the beginning point to our current index. It's not slice. I'm passing zero and then our current index. Now I want to find a number here that will add up with the current number in our int array to our expected sum. I want to do this by doing const sum index equals sliced not index of sum minus int at i. Now, if this sum index, if this function doesn't return minus one, then we know we have the correct number present in our sliced array. So I'm gonna do if sum index is not equal to minus one, then I'll go ahead and return another array. For the first element, I want the first index that we found in our sliced array, sliced at sum index. And then for the second element, I want the current number in the array that we passed in, so ints at i. Uh, looks like that is good. I'm going to copy that over. Um, go into our kata. Uh, turn this into sum. Just to, let's just make this look nice here. Uh, let's just paste that in here. And I'm going to hit attempt and wait. Wait for it. It seems to pass all of our sample tests, but if you look here, it says process was terminated. It took longer than 12,000 milliseconds to complete. Remember what I said about those extra long arrays earlier on in the video? It seems our function is taking too long to calculate those extra long arrays. There is a way we can fix that though, and it comes in the form of caching. Let me tell you what I mean here. Let me tell you how to implement that here. So first I'm gonna create a variable at the very top of our function called a last number. And I'm just gonna set that equal to undefined. And then the beginning of our for loop, I wanna do a check. If our, if our last number is defined and it is equal to the current number in our int array, int at i, I'm just going to go ahead and say continue. And if, it, and if it's not equal, we'll go on to the rest of our loop. And what we'll do here, we'll set last number to the current number in our int array. Now this is caching. This will save a lot of time in our code. Let's see what happens if we pay, copy this and paste it into our kata. Let's hit attempt. Now ain't that a beauty. It seems our code is now passing all the excruciatingly long list tests. And with, and with that, that concludes today's Code Wars Kata of the Day. This was certainly a fun and puzzling one. 
I will see you tomorrow for yet another Code Wars content of the day. In the meantime, this is Dennis Griffin. Comment, like, and subscribe if you would like to check out my GitHub page for more updates on my code. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.